Hi all, I have an interesting encounter on a test game for the Chesscom Computer Championship Rapid Rumble, so 15 minutes per 5 second increment. Leela ID 11089 was playing against the classic crafty chess engine, which is one of the most influential engines of, of all time. It was one of the originals. The main author, Dr. Robert Hyatt, uh, a PhD in computer science. Uh, and it's described by Todd Rons Ronstad, the author of Stockfish, as arguably the most important and influential chess program ever. So I'll give you some techie stuff about it. It was written in ANSI C with assembly-language routines available on some CPUs. And it's very, very portable. It's uh, available for personal use only, and redistribution is allowed only under certain conditions. It pioneered the use of rotated bit board data structures to represent the chessboard, and was one of the first chess programs to support multiple processors. It also included Nega Scout Search, the Killer Move Heuristic, Static Exchange Evaluation, Quiescent Search, Alpha Beta Pruning, a Transposition Table, a Refutation Table, an Evaluation Cache, Selected Extensions, Recursive non Null Move Search, and many other features. And special editions of, of the program included even like opening book, positional learning, and an end game table base. So this was like an app. This is an absolute classic in the evolution of computer chess programs. Uh, so let's see uh, this game. So d4 from Leela. We have knight f6, c4, c5. So the Benoni. The Benoni is not thought to be one of the most solid openings with black against d4. Uh, so knight c3, e takes, c takes, d6, e4. We have a6. The most popular move is actually g6 here. But there is a very sharp move which Kasparov used to crush none in one of the Olympiads, f4. And it later became known as like the flick knife variation. This variation uh, with a quick f4 and bishop b5 is, is very, very scary. Uh, so a6 here. We have f4 anyway. Even uh, so, because this e5 looks like a natural strategic break, so Leela's going for that straight away. And in fact, after b5, plays it now, knight g4. Uh, if b4, this really can run into big trouble with e takes, because here white can have this very nasty check. You'll note none of the bishops can can go in front of the king really, and here f takes just wins a, a, a piece already because. Bishop e7 is, is the best best try, in fact. You might wonder why. Uh, the reason is uh, because if bishop takes g7, can you see what white can play here? I'll give you five seconds. Okay. Queen g4 chat. Yeah, this is all very unfortunate. So this is a bit of an unfortunate opening or already, in a way, because black can't play b4. So this knight is uh, coming to g4 now, but this is very, very comfortable position for white. Now that supports e5, bishop e7, a4 prompting b4, a nice centralized knight here, black castles, h3, knight h6. This knight's kind of ruined at the moment. Well, you might think it comes to f5, but it can just be kicked potentially if it comes to f5. We actually have f5 being used by the bishop, <clears throat> and that's supported. Now, bishop takes e4 is played. Uh, as an example already of the problems, knight d7, g4, this position is horrible for black. White's actually threatening g5, squishing the knight. If a space is made for the knight, this position is just horrendous. Yeah, white has a big advantage there. Look at the space. And black's pieces basically are pretty cramped. So, uh, bishop takes e4. Queen takes. We have check, which does disrupt the king a little bit. F5. This is a big concession. Pawns don't go backwards. Once E6 happens, this knight and this knight are both not very happy about a pawn on E6. Uh, I think they're going to go on on the riots. The petition against not having a pawn on E6. Both of them are going to join. <laughs> Queen D3. Rook A7. Unfortunately. There are protests in the streets. 
to no avail e6 happens so there's no knight f7 there's no knight d7 so both of them just they went to the pub and drowned their sorrows and uh, <laughs> after, after that heavy session in the pub uh, they were seen uh, swinging from side to side in the streets that night just complaining we didn't want that pawn on e6 they did it anyway they allowed it anyway so anyway, carry on. King h8. We have uh, <laughs> now a, a cruel move, rook a2. As if, as if there's going to be a dream rook lift or something round here. With b3 and maybe bishop b2. Just to pin that g7 pawn, just in case. So the bishop and rook here are conspiring for a long-term plan against the not-so-crafty-crafty crafty in this game. Bishop e7. And now we have g4, which is made possible because this rook's having a good time just pointing at h7 here. If fg, hg, there's no knight takes because the queen takes. Uh, and clearly, this just is in white's favour to have this position uh, because even the rook can swing, the bishop can point at b2. So uh, we have actually queen e8. g5, knight g8. Yes, this is starting to be a picture of horror. Bishop d8. Yes, the rook comes to f2. Knight e7, and we have h4. Queen h5. And now actually knight g1 is played. So the knight's actually rerouting here. h6, knight e2 is going to kick the queen maybe. The queen comes back there. h5, and the queen's pushed to h7. It's not a picture of happiness for the black pieces. Knight g3, rook e8. Bishop b2, rook f8. But many a human player on the ICC playing crafty thought they had good positions, only to be ruined tactically, like 99% of the time. Because crafty was, it is pretty crafty, especially against the human opponent. It can have positions like this and probably live to tell the tale. Rook g1. Rook c7. Uh, now a5, as though saying to the bishop, come and get me later, because actually you might be relevant to the kingside safety in some way, so I want you out of the picture, like I've done to many other of my victims. Uh, so rook a7, yeah, hitting the pawn. We have knight e2. In fact, after knight e2, it unveils this rook and look at this bishop and this rook conspiring against g7 the bishop decides it's not worth taking the a pawn here knight c8 is played uh, bishop takes a5 you know the rooks can double and then h6 is pretty painful for example this is just horrendous this position is just crashing through for example queen g3 switching for this mighty bishop takes g7 the mating so maybe it's not the best idea to take on a5 but it is a lost position anyway knight c8 both knights huddled together saying like we knew this would happen with that e6 pawn don't blame us so queen h3 rook c7 we have rook h2 now knight d7 okay saying okay i'll give myself up for that e6 pawn e takes rook takes a6 drops now and yes it's not it's not a very happy position for black uh, this is what sometimes happens when <laughs> when you get a cutting edge neural network program <clears throat> uh, sort of playing against the classic uh, iconic influential program uh, from many many years ago b takes c4 hg fg king g8 h6 yes pressing down on the dark squares knight d4 yeah white's running rampant really there's lots of opportunities here the knight comes to e6 uh, now we have rook h uh, the rook's doubling there Knight takes c7. This is it is all pretty hopeless play. Yeah, black's just given up, I think. Black's just stopped uh, wanting to to play. Uh, we have knight takes check. Rook takes e7. Yep. 
Queen A3 going around here for a checkmate. Uh, so here actually we have Queen A7 in this position because there might be Bishop F8. Uh, Rook takes H7 and the end is near. Checkmate's here. Okay, now whilst the game isn't, uh, it's, it's a bit of a horror story, uh, it's crafty that created this new generation of software chess engines on the PC. And I remember having uh, an old Mephisto hardware. There was a time when it was the hardware was dominating. If you wanted a chess computer for the home, uh, you know, you need to buy some, some hardware. It was expensive. Um, so software on the PC was a very welcome thing. Uh, much cheaper generally and uh, a lot of fun. And Crafty was also, you know, plugged into the ICC as an engine bot and has provided thousands and thousands of hours of happiness to thousands of people. So it is to be commended and a great achievement in the history of an evolution of computer chess. I hope you enjoyed this. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks so much.